All right. Hey, it's Big Daddy, and it's Big Daddy and Friends time. So uh, our guest today, it, it's funny because I worked for him one time, and now I'm interviewing him. <laughs> and, and he's the Big Daddy in hockey. So uh, uh, let me introduce Pat Brisson. How you doing, Pat? I'm doing great, Daddy. Big Daddy, doing awesome. How you doing? I'm doing all right, man. It's, uh, you know, I'll tell you, um, there's a lot of hockey fans out there and uh you know everybody relates me with football but you know when i have hockey guests on you got to see the turnaround the uh people get excited you know it's my first hockey guest was barry trotz yeah uh, we had a great conversation great guy and so many people loved the interview and then uh, i brought on billy garen yeah and then i had weeksy yeah for sure i have you so it's like you know, I'm bringing out all the uh, Mount Rushmores of hockey. <laughs> I want the big names. <laughs> so, uh, just, you, know, you know, just to uh, let the fans that are watching and listening know, um, you know, you and I, like I said, we met 1991, 92, when I had just got years ago. About yeah. 30 years ago. In, in Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. Yep. And, yep. Uh, then all of a sudden, I found myself working for you guys. Uh, yeah. And uh, Steve and Tom. Steve and Tom. And that was a learning experience. And I got to uh, meet a whole different, you know, like a different world. And, you know, being in the insurance business, which I am in, um, it was funny. How many guys used to say to me, how did I grow my business in hockey when I'm a football guy? Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, you know, I said, well, look, I work for one of the prominent agencies. And then, you know, you're hanging out with Mario and, you know, Kevin Stevens and that whole group when people finally realized that I wasn't their security guard. <laughs> <you know? laughs> yeah. The guys would be like, oh, so you're in the insurance business. I'm like, yeah, that's what I do for a living, you know, blah, blah, blah. Um, but those years were so valuable uh, to me. Not only was I seeing winning, but I was learning from you guys. You know, you guys were a... Uh, uh, very successful not only in the hockey sector but also with Tom and baseball and and just being all caught up in that whole uh, you know rat race there in Pittsburgh because yeah yeah such a, a successful city in regards to sports and you know having Neil O'Donnell's my roommate there and him yeah. to the Steelers and there was just so much you know that was like a learning uh, melting pot yeah yeah for, uh, for three years for me so uh, you know, it's, uh, I, I always think about those days and I could never forget them and they were a lot of fun, you know, so. Yeah, well, in our business, it's a process and uh, and it was a great process for me. It was a great time, you know, those those years uh, I was starting as well. I mean, Tom Rich was his prominent baseball agent. Uh, we've learned, we were learning from Tom. Uh, Steve uh, had a little bit more experience than I did at the time. I was really at the, uh, the infant stage of my business there in the in the 91, 92, learning from Tom and, and and from Steve as well. So and then you came into our life back then. Uh, I do recall with Mario and all that. And uh, were those were great great times, uh, Big Daddy. Yeah. No. I mean, uh, you know, here I am going to All Star games and yeah, you <laughs> you're walking in with like the biggest names in hockey, and it's like, you know, you sit back and you scratch your head like me. I would sit, I'd be like, wow, man. You know, I'm uh, I'm lucky. You know, I'm lucky. So, um, but anyway, the you know one of the things that uh, the uh, I always try to elaborate, and someone like yourself is here. You know, here you are. You start out. You're in L.A., and I think, and I know this as a fact. Maybe a lot of people don't know this, but you are probably one of the biggest reasons that hockey in L.A. and Southern California is where it is today because you were like one of the pioneers. I mean, think about it. Uh, I remember all the workouts that you would set up with TR and then all of a sudden mm -hmm. you had guys flying in from everywhere to work out with you guys and him. And then, you know, you're building these rinks and you get Luke involved and so many things. And, 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 and I tell people that he's one of the reasons that that's going on there. I mean, I know you're a humble guy and you won't take all that credit, but you really are one of the reasons that hockey is where it is today in Southern California. Well, it's interesting, uh, 
Big Daddy. I mean, I came here, the timing is everything, and I came here uh, in 87, and Luke, uh, Luke had just, uh, Robitai had just won the Rookie of the Year prior year uh, in 86. <laughs> and then um, I was here to visit him. My career, I wasn't sure what I was going to do as, uh, if I was going to go back to play in Europe one more year, and I decided to stay, and then, and then Gretzky, the Gretzky trade occurred in, in, 90, in 88. So the timing was so important, timing's everything, and being a hockey guy at that time, um, there was an immediate uh, spike for hockey in Southern California with the Gretzky trade. And there's a demand that came, immediate demand. I mean, the, the Fabulous Forum was sold out all of a sudden with Hollywood stars, and then hockey became the, the sport that, you know, an interesting sport that the most Americans, especially here in, in Southern California, didn't, didn't know about. Um, the young, young, young kids grew up here who, you know with, with baseball basketball and football and all of a sudden what, what's this this is this hockey thing and so um and I, with my experience as an ex-player i jumped into teaching right away i jumped into all the hockey facets and and uh, yeah we got involved in the ice ring business because it was only one rink so the, run one rink at the time where the kings practice one or two rinks and then we got involved the isoplexes and then uh, off ice trainings and you know then I got involved in the agency business we can talk about later but I I felt that development was important I still do think today it's even more than ever but all these things had a domino effect and um, 33 years ago went by so quick but that, that was an important phase to the development of hockey in Southern California and the Ducks came in 92 but the timing was there, and I was in the middle of all that, uh, for sure, involved with uh, all the opportunities that were given to me at that time. Yeah, no, it's uh, great because, like I said, I, I remember all the conversations and yeah, all the work that you were doing and, you know, this one, that one, getting involved and trying to get this thing going. And, and, and uh, you know, it's commendable. And obviously the Kings having success and the Ducks and the Sharks, and, you know, now it's – Hockey's right up there with, you know, even in L.A. I mean, you think about it, all those years, uh, L.A. was really hockey and USC and the Lakers. <laughs> so, yeah. you know, th uh, football was gone and it had a huge void and and whatnot. So, yeah, the timing obviously was impeccable, was great. And uh, and it's it's uh, it's built to a big, uh, a big, a big entertainment, uh, a big attraction. Platform now, and then uh, all the, the 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 parents today who were involved uh, in, in introduced to hockey in the early '90s. Today, their parents, you know, the uh, young 10, 15, 20 year olds back then. Now they're in their 30s or 40s, and they have kids. And a lot of them put their kids into hockey. And this year, just at the World Juniors alone, we had four kids from California on Team USA. You know. Um, you know, Ryan Johnson and, uh, and uh, um, Dustin Wolf, my son, Brendan, and, and yeah. Camp York uh, were part of it. So a lot of these, you know, I, the, 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 the Wolves and, and the Yorks were not really hockey people per se uh, 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 by trade. And, and they put the, the kids into hockey. You know what I mean? So yeah. um, anyway, it's, it's been, it has, a, it has a, had a domino effect on everything and it's been a, a, extremely interesting to see the progress and i have to say congratulations to your son you know i was following uh you know all of kim's posts and you know watching yeah, yeah. And, you. On and everything and uh you know it's uh i mean you got to be so proud you know being even though you work with the greatest players in the world having your own son you know do what he's doing and you know now be part of the las vegas team and all those things man you know congrats it's great I appreciate it. Uh, it was uh, it was uh, sure an interesting year last year going through all this, and um, yeah, so I appreciate it. He's going to need a good insurance guy along the way. Remember that. Yes. <laughs> knock on wood. <laughs> yeah, knock on wood. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's uh, you know, and then when you uh, when you 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 know you tell people that you have these relationships like I do with you, and 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 so on and so on and so forth. You know, people are always intrigued. You know, people want to know. And, and being that, you know, I look at hockey on the same level as I do everything else. 
Yeah. A lot of people don't look at it that way. You know, a lot of people think, oh, it's baseball, basketball, whatever the order you want to do. Yeah, but yeah. I'm like, I, I tell people all the time that some of the greatest times I've ever had have been related to hockey. Mm-hmm. I mean, I remember when you guys took me to my first World Cup. It was yeah. uh, uh, at the Garden, and then uh, yeah. we went to Montreal or Philadelphia. I forget where it was. Montreal. Uh, we went yeah. to Montreal, I think. Yeah, you were there, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and I was talking to Billy Garrett about that, and he goes, yeah. wow. He goes, remember, they, they just did a documentary. And I was like, I said, yeah, I watched that, and I was so taken back by it because I was there, and I knew some of the guys – yeah, and, uh, and getting to do that that was a great experience and I tell people all the time you know drinking uh, out of the Stanley Cup with uh, yeah. with Gomer back when he won rookie of the year and all that and, and 2000 yeah and I remember being with you guys at the draft in Buffalo when you got when he got drafted yeah yeah and all those things are such incredible highlights for me in my life that yeah. I, now I could say thank you Pat because it was a lot of fun and uh it was, well, um, it was fun having you around. I wish we had you more around still today. I mean, it was always, uh, listen, it was always great to have you around and uh, you bring a lot of life to a room. And uh, uh, anyway, it's good reconnecting. And I know we haven't been in touch much lately. We're all so busy, but it's great to spend time. Uh, yeah, absolutely. You know, and, you know, I still I actually I admire you as a businessman and as a friend and, uh, you know, I pay attention. So I see what's going on and, you know, you see who you sign, who you work with and, uh, and, and it's, it's great. So congratulations on all that. So, uh, Thank you. and then the, the, you know, the, uh, funny thing is on our show, we always have a, a fan that asks a question. Yeah. So, um, I ended up getting about 35 of them, but I, I condensed it down to two. So, you know, we're not going to roll that. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it, one of the questions was, you know, you work with Kane and you work with Taves uh, yeah. in uh, Chicago. So uh, what's uh, your favorite restaurant in Chicago? Uh, oh, it's pretty easy. It's... Um... It's uh, my God! I write a downtown there. Gibson, uh, is it Gibson uh, Steakhouse? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, that's, a, that's a I've eaten there. That's a good. <laughs> yeah, right downtown, right there. Uh, that's where I usually go. Yeah. And what's the best time you ever had in Chicago? Would you say when they won the cups? No, well, they won the cup. When they won the cup, uh, I had great, uh, great memories there. Uh, you know, um, going to, uh, you know, being up pretty much all night. So actually, when they won in Philly, I was in Philly. We took a private plane right after the game and went to Chicago, and no one really slept. Uh, it was a fabulous night there. I've had some great times in Chicago also with Chris Chelios when he played there. Chelly was a great host. Um, he knew the city very well, like nobody. And um, at the Chili's, Ch- Chili Bar and all that stuff. Oh, yeah. and, uh, those days were fantastic days. Uh, mem- great memories in Chicago for sure. Yeah, he is one of – he is – I have to say, if I had to pick out five guys in hockey through my lifetime – he is up there with the top five. One of my favorite people. Um, you know, I got to hang out with him, obviously, through the years of being yeah. in the group. And then uh, the one Super Bowl in Detroit, you know, he had his uh, Chili's Chili right there near the uh, stadium, the football yeah. field. So yeah. all of a sudden, I we end up going there at like 11 o'clock at night to yeah. eat food because there was a snowstorm going on. So there was really nothing was open. <laughs> and he's like... Big Daddy, remember, I own the place, so I got the keys, you know? <laughs> okay, yeah. all right, great, let's go. Yeah, he always found a way, Chelly, for yeah. sure. Yeah, and then being, uh, then he had me at his house in Malibu, you know? Uh, and, uh, you know, he was trying to convince me to go on a bike ride up to PCH, and I said, you know, Chelly, I love you and everything, but I don't think I'm in that kind of shape to... Yeah, he's in know, great He's always been in great shape. <laughs> yeah, I go... I go the he was one of the pioneers. When off ice, he was, uh, you know, what what a great example. What, what a competitor, but also uh, always took his uh, his training extremely seriously. I mean, one of the best in the history. Yeah, I when I saw him riding his bike in that sauna, his 
that's when I really was like, wow, man. Yeah. He was like, and I've seen everything from A to Z, but yeah. I've never seen anything like that. Machine. He yeah. still does it today. I hear he's still training in a sauna. He ride rides his bike in a sauna. And, um, but he's always been very focused in, in uh, making sure that he's in great shape, including his nutrition and all that. So, yeah, great example. Yeah, he's definitely a guy that you want hard work and determination and, and you know, playing out guts. I think that's the guy. You know, you, you make a statue and he's it. Yeah. And you'll, you'll learn a lot from that guy. Completely agree. Yeah. And and he's a winner too. So that's. Oh, yeah. That's what's, that's the uh, cherry on the uh, top of the uh, the uh, ice cream, you know. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> uh, so one other question that I got was, uh, tell me uh, a story, uh, or they want to know a story of, was there ever one player that you wished you repped? Like, you know, somebody that you think, all right, I, know, I didn't work with them, but I would have loved to work with them. Well, I, I got to know, uh, got to know Joe Sackick after his career, Steve Eisenman after their career, during their career as well. Mm -hmm. But I didn't get to represent guys like, like I mean, guys, I mean, either one of them. <clears throat> now we became closer after the career's over uh, by virtue of them being general managers. And so um, anytime you can represent uh, a player that uh, goes to the Hall of Fame and such a huge, uh, makes a, such a huge impact in the game, I mean, it's those are players that comes to mind. Yeah. But I've been privileged to represent a lot of other greats and still do that they are going to go to the hall of fames for sure but so those are two names but they were well represented at the time but they're those are names in, in our game that i you know or patrick Roy as well you know yeah guys like that for sure the legendary those names you know legendary. Yeah. so um but uh all right so now here comes the fun part of the show because mm -hmm. we're wrapping up now you get to ask me a question so uh Pick away whatever you want, no holes bar, and uh, well, I'm sure uh, I'm sure you've been asked this question before. Where did the name? I have to ask you. How did the name Big Daddy? Because <laughs> uh, I call you Richard sometimes. Yes, yeah. Uh, Big Daddy for the most part, but uh, the name Big Daddy, you know. It's funny when I went to Maryland University is 19. Uh, I'm aging myself now, but 1986. Mm -hmm. I walk in to this uh, like a dorm area and I'm trying to figure out, I'm a freshman, I just got there, I don't know where I'm going. And I'm trying to figure out where my room is and who I'm living with. And all of a sudden I walk in and there's this guy laying and I look at the bed. Yeah. The bed is very long and wide. I go, man, guy gets up and I said, man, big daddy. <laughs> I don't know where I'm at. And he goes, listen, I'm Big Ben. Everybody calls me Big Ben. Big Ben. Big Ben. He goes, you, your daddy brought you here. So, you know, your nickname is Big Daddy. And I looked up at him and I said, you can call me whatever you want. And hey, he was like, bigger, taller than you? Because you're, you're a big guy. He, he was 6'9", 330. Jesus. And I looked up at him and I said, <laughs> Okay, and uh, I got stuck with Big Daddy from 1986 on. Wow, well, it's a great nickname. It goes you well, too. I love it. <laughs> yeah, those, uh, you know, it's funny how many people, you know, I joke around about it sometimes. Like, let's say if I call a business. Yeah. And the secretary is, the girl, the secretary works for you. And, you know, obviously, you know me, and I could say, hey, tell Pat it's Big Daddy. And then the assistant will be like, excuse me? Yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah. I'm like, I'm telling you, if you tell him that it's Big Daddy, he's going to know. No. Yeah, for he'll, sure. You no, know, he'll take it or he'll call me back, whatever. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. And some people are like, no way. I'm like, I'm telling you, if you say to him, Rich Salgado, 90% of those people will not know who I am. Yeah, yeah. Big Daddy, yeah. everybody knows that. Interesting. It's true. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's uh, it's funny. And I get a big kick out of it doing it sometimes to people because it's like a game, you know? It's, yeah. uh, 
everything's serious, but I try to be not always serious because you know what? Yeah. Life's too short to be serious all the time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, hey, tell me real quick. Tell everybody, Pat, that refrigerator yeah. behind you. What do we got going on back there? Flow? That's flow water. That's flow water. I, uh, I uh, start drinking this water about uh, six to eight months ago. It's a great product. I mean, I like the way they, uh, I don't really like plastic bottles and stuff. So um, yeah, it looks like cool packaging. Yeah. It's great packaging and great taste. They have different flavors. And so I um, reach out to them, to my friend, uh, actually, uh, Joey Scalari. Uh, Joey Vendetta in Toronto, and uh, he was involved with the brand, and I, I uh, invested a little bit of money with uh, with this company. It's a great product, and we sent it to a lot of our players too. So where can you get it? Where can you get it? Oh, you get it. Uh, you can get a Whole Foods. You can get it online. Uh, you can order online, uh, and uh, it's a product from Canada. It comes from a source out of out of Ontario, and. Uh, uh, it's alkaline 8.1 here, but it, it, it tastes well. It tastes really good. I like it. And so um, love the product, love their marketing behind it. So they send me a fridge and I put it right here. <laughs> no, I see that. And, uh, those fridges are cool. You know, like I said, I got mine right back there. I yeah, I see that. that. Yeah. Well, well, like, uh, mostly uh, full of water all the time. And uh, yeah. because I'm trying to avoid sugar, I've uh, eliminated a lot of sugar. And it's just really water. Yeah, I have a well. uh, black coffee and, uh, yeah. uh, you know, if I had, I had a Diet Coke about a week ago, I was up till three in the morning because I haven't had soda and so yeah. I don't drink soda either water, like coffee, tea, um, and, 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 and a glass of wine here and there. I'm actually, yeah, uh, yeah much of the same. So, um, but Hey, listen, Pat, I'm so glad you came on. It's great to catch up with you. And, uh, like I said, it's an honor, and, and um, so I feel privileged to have you on because, again, we've known each other for so long. At one moment, you're my boss. Now I'm interviewing you. So <laughs> who's better than me? You get the best of both worlds. Well, it's a privilege to be on your show, too, uh, Big Daddy. And, again, anytime, uh, I'll be more than happy to come back, and uh, I'll appreciate it and keep your great work and love what you do. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. So to everyone out there, you love hockey, you got to follow CAA Hockey because they have the best of the best and they got the best guy uh, running the show there. So uh, I could say that honestly, and uh, I'm not getting paid to promote them or anything like that. I've been there in the trenches with them, so I know what you're getting. So uh, until next time, it's Big Daddy and Friends, and we'll see everybody real soon. Pat, please make sure you tell Kim I said hello as well. Thank you. And, uh, the best to you guys and everything, and I'll be in touch. Okay. Same here. Thank you, Big Daddy. You got it, of course. All right, buddy.